we'll see how much of a fool I make of myself or how much of a hero I look like coming up next. And we're gonna take advantage of the remaining sunlight we have here on these stupid short days here in early, late fall, early winter, and uh, finish up that oil chain we tried to start yesterday here on the Cummins because it just took a good minute doing the Wildcat and Hefty and uh, you know, I like to take my time. There's other stuff along the way I wound up working on. So nonetheless, we'll do the oil change here on the Cummins. This one's a pretty simple one as well. We just got to pull off uh, the air box down to the turbo. It's kind of in the way right there of our oil filter. So once we can get this out of the way, um, we can go ahead and pop oil filter drain plug down here. Don't need no jack stands, which is another nice part about owning and driving a truck and uh, swap out the 36 gallons of oil this thing takes. And even with me being a tall guy at 6'2", handy little crate certainly helps with working up in here and not getting yourself all bent out of shape on your back because you know what? You've only got one back and as I'm starting to age here and put on the years, I certainly notice when I uh, use the backup. So yeah, we're gonna make our life easier. Cool. And also while I've got this apart too, I'll go ahead and pop this cover off and clean out my air cleaner just to be a part of my good maintenance going on here. You can see our factory whole set turbo, still looking pretty decent in there. Thing still spools up nicely and scoots on down the road. So uh, here's our oil filter. And you can see my notes from last year, where are we at here? 186,000 miles on the 7th of November, 21. Today's the 19th of November, 2022. So I'm actually good on this one. I'm only a year on this one and that's what I like to see. 184,000 miles right now. I think we're at 194. So that's not too bad for a whole year. Let's see. Yeah, exactly. 194,000. So between, you know, driving this thing mostly daily, but then I'll also drive the Buick, Hefty, the motorcycle, whatever. It spreads out the mileage and there you go, 10,000 miles on this oil. All right, here. so to loosen this thing up, righty tighty would be, uh, this way would be tight. So that way would be loose. So let's see if we can uh, break her free by hand before having to get the filter wrench. Nice. I did myself a big favor last year, I guess, by not going too tight on this thing. it is moving heck yeah cool all right we'll hold hold on that one real quick and we'll go ahead and drop our drain pan and do that and to do that though we've got to drain this thing out because it's full of oil from both the wildcat and hefty's oil change so that's why i like to keep old bottles around from like coolant other engine oil changes whatever so this way i can drain out my bad oil into another container and then drop that off at a designated Oil change out sight. Nice. Clean up an aisle six. Don't you just love it when you do that? <laughs> Can we just take a second to appreciate how clean this truck is? I mean, the truck is from 1999 and looks so good still. I mean, it doesn't even really leak all that much. It's a Dodge. Did I dare say that? Am I gonna jinx it now? I don't know, but still, look at this thing. For an old diesel, turbo diesel like this thing, it's freaking awesome. Here's our new transmission. We got this thing over the summer. Um, yeah, it's been running great. Just hot, solid as hell. It's got plenty of power still. This thing's a beast. So let me just go get a ratchet. This uses a 3 8 drive, I think, and pops right out. Don't get your panties in a bunch. I am not gonna use this impact ratchet as an impact. Just using it as a wrench. Oh yeah, that's the good stuff right there. So here it is after one year, 10,000 miles. Again, I know 10,000 might seem like a scary interval for some of you guys, but seriously, this is top quality synthetic diesel oil. Uh, Schaefer's is some really good stuff and it's meant to go 10 to 15,000 miles from what I've read. Obviously a lot of people like to change it a lot sooner, but still, I'm not afraid to go 10,000 miles with it. You can see that oil still really looks consistent. It's obviously dark because diesel oil just gets dark like that, is it? Even if you drive it after a day from changing the oil, but we'll let this drain out and then we'll get over to our oil filter. What's up, Wildcat? Looking good over there. <laughs> 
All right, about five minutes later, it's drained down to this point. And yeah, I know I could have taken the plug out further, but I'm very particular. And honestly, I don't like getting my whole body drenched in oil if I don't have to. The extra couple minutes of sitting down here to not get myself completely drenched if I don't need to and just let it get to this point. And then I can pull the full drain plug out, clean this up real quick, and then pop it back in. Like that. And we'll just go ahead and clean her up nice and good. Wipe down the bottom of the pan. Drain plug cleaned up and we'll get this thing reinstalled. And to note also, it's like 30 degrees out here again today, but I had just been driving the truck. If you guys are tuned into the channel and watch all my crazy videos, I was over at Roger's shop just before tearing apart the 69 440 block that's gonna go in my 69B. So this truck is warm, not burning hot, but enough of a little 10 minute drive on here to make that oil nice and slick. So it'll come on out just the way it needs to. And we'll go just snug, not ultra tight. And that's it. Sweet, now to get the oil filter. The only positive side to this thing is that this oil filter is vertical. Nice, okay. Well, I guess the benefit of having it drain out like that actually is it's not pouring out anywhere. Oh. What do you know? I forgot that's actually one of the cleaner oil filter change outs there is. So there she is, uh, Baldwin filter coming out and we'll go grab our new one. Let's take a look at the oil coming out of the filter see what it looks like. Nice, nice and clean. Not seeing any metallic streaking like we saw on Hefty's engine. So our 194,000 mile 24 valve turbo diesel is still doing hella good. Heck yeah. All right, here's our new oil filter. This is a Cummins brand. There's your model number. Cool, gotta like that. Okay, and we've noticed that our gasket came off with the old oil filter, because you always wanna make sure, there's a small chance, but sometimes the O-ring gaskets here on these oil filters stick up on the housing for the oil pump. And then you go and put a new one on, and then you've got two gaskets mate, mating up and then they don't do the job of sealing and you get a huge oil leak in your driveway. Ask me how I know. So uh, there we go. Made the oil filters kiss. Spread a little love on this one so this way when it goes to come off next year it'll come off just as easy as that one did for us this time. So uh, let's go ahead and get my sharpie. I'm gonna write our date and mileage on here so this way we remember next time we take it off how far we went. Heck yeah, now I'll remember. Okay, new filter going in. It's almost so nice, I don't even want to put it on the truck. I think it's a piece of wall art with that Mopar M on there. I had to guide it with my other hand real quick, but she is spinning on. You do not want to cross thread that, obviously. Will it stop on the Mopar M? That is the question. Oh yeah, perfect, like it was meant to be. Heck yeah. Ugh, nice. Nice and tight. All right, let's go ahead and uh, pull our dipstick out and go fill our oil up. Such a long dipstick on these things. The length of that thing, about three or four feet long. Okay, I always like to wipe off the dipstick first before I even start doing anything. And this way I'll just kind of leave her on standby over here. Don't want to put it in anything dirty and just kind of leave it hanging out. So this way right now we know this engine is obviously fully empty. We will begin to fill her up and yes, because of the amount of space and the flat top of this valve cover, I am going to attempt the precision pour and we'll see how much of a fool I make of myself or how much of a hero I look like coming up next. Okay, here we go. All right, guys, can I do it? Can I nail the precision pour here? 
or am I gonna make a huge mess over my valve covers? Drum roll. Okay, we've gotta go ahead and line up a little bit beyond to our right right now. And you can see we've got a plumb bob drop that just went down to let us know we are getting it. Oh man, we're getting it. Precision pour. Yes. Why do we do this? Why do us men like doing this? I don't know. It's just a dumb challenge that we all feel like we can do. And guess what? Tonight we're doing one it. gallon down onto the next one. Going for round two on you guys with the precision pour here. Yes. Yes. Oh man. 15 years of experience has led culminated to this moment right here live on youtube for you guys aren't you proud okay let's see where we're at with those two gallons in there for right now oh don't want to bend that okay it looks like we are just under safe so we're going to need just a little bit more Luckily, I've got some extra in the garage. I actually got so excited by the Mopar M before that I forgot to pre-fill the oil filter, but it's really not a big deal. The truck will be fine. Let's go ahead and bump it real quick, get it to uh, fill that thing up, and we'll get a final reading here and top her off. Okay, let's check our reading on the dipstick. We're probably gonna need another two or three quarts to get her up there. Mini precision pour. Heck yeah, that's easy. The trick to stop the oil from glug, glug, glugging on you, he even says it right here on the bottle, is to actually rotate her over like this and get the top side of that neck. So this way air can funnel in this way, the upside here, and come in and get you like that. All right, and those two quarts got us to this point, so we need probably another one and a half, maybe two. Popped it off, we'll get us our final check here. I think this should be the one. Sweet, we are just over safe, which we're filled the oil, so I'm down here draining out, and you can see, literally, that engine ran for what? five, 10 seconds and how dark it already gets just from running for 10 seconds. That's just the way diesel does itself. It's just funky like that. All right, last time for real now. Let's see if we got her where we need to be. I, I will take that. It is just a notch above the safe line, so. That's going to do it for this episode of Oil Changes with Frank, ladies and gentlemen. Thanks for watching along with the videos. Appreciate all the support on the channel as always. And make sure if you're new, go ahead and subscribe to what we do here on Finale Restorations and uh, enjoy everything we've got coming along here, coming up next.